Well, this is a review of the Clam Quickset Sky. And uh, it's a great shelter. I've had it out here for a couple of days in rain, wind, and it's held up great. Uh, it's a bug room, has walls you can add for wind protection, has a, uh, a fly you can add on top for rain protection, and it has a floor for ground protection. I mean, it's everything. So stay tuned for a uh, review of the Clam Quickset Sky. As comfortable it is here inside the trailer, and it is comfortable, you know, there are times you need more space. And my solution to that is to bring along some portable shelters. But now I've got something new. I've got a clam quick set. The model I have is the Sky, 12 feet wide. It looks sort of like a yurt, and it has a attachable rain fly, which is really great. It has attachable walls. So this thing affords, you know, wind, sun, rain, uh, sand, it affords a lot of protection. Um, I purchased it last October after seeing them in action out at uh, Montauk. They were uh, the only thing left standing in 47 mile an hour winds that we had. A lot of other stuff blew down, but they were still standing. We'll go outside tomorrow morning and we'll check these shelters out. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Uh, I have taken off the uh, the rain fly on top. The weather's improving. Uh, there's a lot of clouds blowing through. It's kind of changeable, but I'm gonna. I just needed to see what it was like with uh, with the cover off. And uh, let's just step inside. Okay. So I opened these up. These uh, little window thingies here, and I've got major airflow going through here. Okay, so you have these uh, zippered window panels, right? And they open up. They open up, and you just tie them up up here, and you get major airflow. This will be the first time I'm putting it up. The thing is almost self-erecting, just like me. bad for the first time, a pretty quick erection. Well, there you go. It's that easy. Well, I have to say, it went up pretty easily. It's, uh, it is almost self-erecting and, uh, this is the door. There's a double slider. I think these are for draw, uh, sending the rain away from the, t from the tent, is what I think these are. I'm probably gonna find out tonight. And there's the stake there into a metal ring. Uh, these tie outs are for wind, and they're in a really good position. Uh, I talked to Clam. They didn't want to uh, talk about what the maximum wind speed this thing could handle was. They said 47 miles an hour exceeds the intended design, but it stood. Now, uh, I do not have the, uh, the roof gizmo on yet. I'm going to put that on next, but it's pretty pleasant to sit in here. Uh, plenty roomy for tables and chairs. Uh, it's 12 feet across, which is pretty big. Uh, for me alone, that's a lot of space. I don't have to put the poles in the sleeves. They're there. It comes that way. But I believe some people had problems with pinching when you start slamming around. If you're one of those ham-fisted, you know, people who slams, you know, stuff, throws it on the ground and all, I think the metal hubs were piercing or pinching the fabric. And it looks like there's an attempt here to fix that, which I, uh, I, I, I'm pretty happy about. I'm not that kind of person. I don't take the duffel bag out of the car and fling it like I'm in a movie or something, you know? It's my gear. I, I place it down gently. It comes with a rain fly that Velcros on and sidewalls. 
that Velcro on that have windows center. And this really makes a lot of sense. The problem with most walls is like a sail and they, uh, they, you know, they, they, <laughs> they can catch a lot of wind energy. And having a tie out in the middle like that is just a brilliant idea. The heritage of these things is ice fishing in Minnesota. They're out on the ice, a lot of wind, uh, unprotected from anything, and uh, these things are designed to stand. That's going up pretty good. The way this attaches is, uh, that's nice They have it overlapping for rain, and there's a little D-ring here, and you just hook on a, an elastic hook. Uh, and then you work your way around, and there is Velcro, and that holds it on. And it looks like it's gonna spill water okay. I, uh, I think it's pretty good. But uh, it looks like here, here's where your sidewall would go, and you can Velcro it all down, whether you're using the sidewalls or not. They didn't cheap out in this thing. Uh, my impression is, and the fabric is pretty heavy. The, uh, the fly fabric is very heavy. They recommend you seal the seams, uh, which I have not done. Let me have a look inside. Yeah. So here it is, a little dark. Oh, you know, it's pretty cozy in here. Uh, and it even sounds a little different with the fabric on it. But next up are the, uh, the slide walls that come with it. completely enclosed. I thought it didn't come with a front door, but it does. It comes with a front door with a zipper. But they did some good layering, right? Here is the um, the fly from the top. Then they have a flap here uh, that this Velcro's to. And then they have a flap under it for the door. The door, here's the fly flap sidewall. So there's overlap, you know, which is usually a good sign for shedding rain. Uh, so I'm pretty hopeful. So let me get in here, to my sanctum here. This is it, totally closed up. Uh, it's bright enough. You got your windows, I have two windows open and uh, two windows closed. So you have some privacy if you want it. You can uh, work out in here. You can do whatever it is you do in private. Uh, shelter from the storm. Let's see how it does in the rain. I'm supposed to get a couple of days of rain. And uh, the color's not bad. It's an earth tone color, tannishy brown and uh, beige, which is one of my favorite colors on tents. It transmits brightness. And uh, some of the nice touches they did on these interior windows, these V windows in the corner. Okay, so this opens up for airflow. They put ties up here, so you can tie this open. They put more ties on the exterior uh, window flaps, so you can tie, roll them up and tie them. You have to go outside to do that, but uh, that's not a problem. So they really, uh, <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed right now. So let's see if it stands up to some weather. I'm supposed to get rain, uh, a little bit of wind, it looks like it's pretty windworthy so far, and the design looks good. You have a tie-out loop up top. I mean, a hanger loop for a light. That's only a three mile an hour wind right now. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. When I get a good wind, I'll let you know. Uh, this is an omnidirectional wind meter. It has little uh, things. It'll measure the wind from any direction. Some of them you have to point into the wind. They're like a little propeller, but this one, is, uh, so it's just a very light breeze. Uh, here's 4.4. Yeah, I know the peak is about five miles an hour. I'll keep an eye on it and let you know what this thing does. So it poured last night and uh, the trailer was nice and cozy and comfortable. 
and uh, worked out great music, lightning and thunder. I just opened up the, uh, the front shade and had a great view of the uh, lightning and thunder. Uh, rain, wind, the wind only got up to about 15 miles an hour. No challenge for this uh, clam quick set. So this thing is great. I put it up yesterday evening and uh, it was out in about 15 mile an hour gust, which is nothing, right? You know, but it is bone dry in there and you could just live in this thing. I mean, this, is a, this seems to be a pretty good shelter. I wanted to give you an idea of the square footage coverage they give you with this clam quick set. These are the side walls. Okay, I spread them out here and uh, you know, you got a lot of square feet on sidewalls. So that, you know, could be a blessing or a problem if this thing is not windworthy. And uh, as you can see in the middle here, there's a reinforced area with the middle pullout. Here's the windows. It's kind of sideways, right? So uh, that gives you wind resistance. And you can see this yurt-like X structure here. Here in the middle, it ties out at the place where the wind would be the biggest problem, right in the middle. It rained like the hammers of hell last night, and this thing was totally dry, 100% dry inside, no leakage, whatever. So let's take a look at the mobile office, okay? I can work in the trailer or outside. It's got a little music, camera, laptop, Wi-Fi hotspot, power source. The computer's a little hungry for power. So, uh, pretty uh, workable office in any weather. Let's just step inside. Okay, so I opened these up, these uh, little window thingies here, and I've got major airflow going through here. But uh, let's just say the ambiance is pretty good. So I, I think I'm in good shape here. Uh, it seems to be a good investment. Uh, no. No issues with anything on construction. Construction's great. Uh, you know, I could carp about the price, but I think you're getting what you pay for with this thing. Again, this is the, uh, the Clam Quick Set Sky. More later. If you like what you see, subscribe. I got plenty more videos about all sorts of things.